so hello guys welcome back to the channel finally we are in the part 2 of the day 5 module before we start make sure you hype the video and subscribe the channel and here if you want to complete other assignments basically from day 1 to day 4 then you can just see basically day 5 also part A you can just see the playlist here all the solutions are available regarding the capstone project many of you are having doubt also available on the channel and some FAQs will be getting the swags make sure to watch this video and here if you want to know how to set up the api key like many of you are getting error and you are underage how you can it use it so can you use your parents api key so yes you can use the different gmail account basically which is 18 plus to create a api key now here you can clearly see that we have to set up how to set up the api key is mentioned over here now without any delay let's come over here and again if you want to watch the video in completely in hindi you can watch this video now let's come over here and here you can clearly see we are in the day 5 and we have completed how to explore a to a protocol and have agents to interact with each other now here the second module is totally optional you can complete and if you don't want you can just view this video i can just read the assignments now here basically we have to come over here and just click on edit my copy now here you need a perfect gcp account to just complete the challenge okay so now here the first thing you need to understand that before we start here we'll be using a production ready edk tool and we'll building our agent basically deploying our agent using vertex ci engine and edk cli Second, we'll monitor and manage the deployed resources and agents and then understand how to add memory to our agent. Okay, so here we'll cover all these things. So before we start, make sure you have subscribed the channel and like the video and hype the video. Now here, you have to first of all start the session over here and then the first thing we have to create a GCP account. Now just and if you don't know how to create a gcp account you can follow over here and basically it is free of cost but you need to add the payment information over here so the first thing is that you have to select click on agree and continue now here first thing you have to add the name address all these things over here and then save it and after that you have to add the payment method okay so let me cover it first of all so once you have added your address you have to just do one thing okay so here but after you have to do once you have set all the address you have to click on save now you have to add the payment method you have three methods basically credit debit and upi you can see you have to enter all the details and save card and here you are using upi you can just use it and most important thing you have to just disable the auto pay or e mandate by visiting the app which you have used for payment so let me cover over here so i'm using this and then you have to click on start free and let me do it here you have to click on ok so finally here your project has been successfully set up now we'll be just setting up the project and just checking the billing account first of all so let me test whether it works or not so first of all we'll come over here and this is the solar curve this is our project id so you have to copy over here and just come over here click on add-ons google sdk and first of all we need to link the account so just select the account which is ours just click on continue and here just click on continue again now just click on complete and finally we have linked the id over here so first of all we have to import the components over here and wait for the components to get imported So meanwhile many of you are having queries like can we complete the day one two three four assignments today so yes you can complete the resource guide i always shared you can check the description for a complete playlist also there is not a big issue so finally all the imports are completed now we have to just click set the credentials and now here we have to update the project id so from here just copy the project id 
so let's see whether it works or not otherwise we have to make the payment of thousand also so just come over here project are reset now we have to just enable all the apis over here we are clicking it to click on this url to enable all the apis now i am telling make sure to just if you are a minor uh, do it under a parent service supervision and if you're doing it in on your own basically turn off the basically auto pay options by visiting that app or basically banking system so otherwise you may be charged so now here just click on next and just enable all the apis so now let's come over here and first let's run all things so that it becomes easier first we'll create the basically agent directory and then add the requirements file over there and then we'll create the environments basically we are using the location as global and then add the agent call now after that we'll just deploy it basically here as said earlier we are using the agent engine to deploy it okay basically we have multiple options like cloud run kubernetes engine which will discuss it about it so first of all let me run it because i'm thinking i may get some error and then i will explain each and everything do not worry about it so let's me deploy first of all the agent then up to here i will cover So it is being deployed so let's see whether we are getting any error or not so here if request has insufficient authentication permission denied okay so let's redeploy again So let's see whether we did any mistake or not thousand and see what happens so after making a payment of thousand or depending on the currency let's see whether it works or not again So again the error is there so let's link the account again and select the user continue complete now here this thing is done now we have to just import all the components again the importing part is done now we have to set the credentials and now here we have to set the project id okay so here we have to just replace the project id come over here 
to the dashboard and here you can just see this is our project number and this is our project id okay so here just come over here and update the project id carefully similarly update the project id here and just run it now here okay we don't have to change over here i think so okay so let it be same and let's set it so it's set now we have to enable all these apis let's see and here just enable all the things over here So it is finally enabled. Now let's create all these things over here one by one. Don't worry, we'll cover each and everything. So here you can finally see the deployment has begun. So what we did first thing we made a payment. You need a prepayment to do of I think thousand rupees uh, depending on the currency whichever it is showing on the page. Okay. We repeated all the steps and just completed and I won't recommend you to complete these steps because if you do you may face some kind of basically billing charges etc so let's meanwhile it runs let's explain the project so here what it does so here basically we are working on the deployment or to a deployment of education to the vertex ai engine and basically here we will be scaling it a step by step and here we'll learn about uh, production ready adk agent and how to deploy the agent to vertex ai agent engine using the adk cli also we'll be testing the deployed agent python sdk and monitor and managed deployed agents in the google cloud console so here as you have seen we have created a new gcp tire account and we have imported all these things okay now the first thing we did after creation of the api key we added basically linked it to the sdk okay and then just verified and after that we enabled all the api the storage logging monitoring trace telemetry and vertex ai api after that we just created our agent with adk basically it's a weather assistant tool which is using the gemini 2.5 flashlight and after that we are just creating the agent directory and some requirement files which contains some python packages which is needed for the agent now after that we created the environment configuration and which is basically based on the global location we have multiple locations like us central 1a us central 1b similarly us east 4a is like this we have so here you can see that is zone basically region is without a like us east one us central one but zone is a b c whatever you see after the dash is the zone now here we have created the assistant and now we are deploying it over here so basically here multiple options are here for the deployment of the agent engine we can use vertex ai engine we can use cloud run kubernetes engine in this basically course we are using the vertex ai engine which is basically for ai agents and helps in auto scaling the session management now here we will be covering that thing only and if you want to explore regarding the cloud run and cloud kubernetes engine you can just check the guide over here now here let's create the agent engine config json file which is basically we are having minimum number of instance zero and maximum number of instance one and the cpu resources are we are using cpu one and memory one gi okay so here it is basically 
one GB memory per instance if you see the configuration okay so here zero scales down to the zero when not is in use basically it will help to save the power and cost too now another thing is that maximum number is one instance which is sufficient for this demo if you are building higher projects then you need to have more than five or four running depending on your requirements so here we have just selected the region here multiple regions are available and here we have selected the random region so US West one is selected now here we are deploying the agents you can clearly see it's still deploying state it may take some time so you need to wait for it so basically what happens over here is that we have to create an account and then what we need to do we have to activate it using a pre payment method then only it will work after some time otherwise we will face repeatedly same error okay so let's come over here and wait for it to get completed it will take again some time so wait for it now here you can clearly see the agent has been successfully created and it's just cleaning up the folder so now what just happened now we created basically here using the deploy agent command the packages which the agent code basically it has been uploaded to the agent engine and it has created a containerized deployment over the this one okay you can see uh, basically the resource name is like this and here now we'll be retrieving our deploy agent so just run it like this and here you can see it's showing connected to this now here what happens we have just initialized a connection with our vertex ci sdk with our project basically with our project and region and it will list all the agents in that region if you want to now here we are testing the deployed agent over here so here you can clearly see it's throwing the output so this is how we completed the particularly course and what does memory bank solve so basically our agent is deployed as a session memory it remembers the conversation while you are chatting like you are chatting basically about like you are chatting about the weather now and after suddenly you ask about your friend and at last after two to three days or basically if it is a session memory so it's active for a particular session only so after two to three hours if you ask the same question it will reply with the same response basically you asked like your date of birth if you have given it will reply like that that your date of birth or year is birth is this so like here what is vertex ai ai memory bank basically it gives our agent a long term memory across the session so here you can see single memory is here session memory and memory bank is here so here session memory is single conversation and memory bank contains all conversation basically session memory as it says the session name itself explains it actually expires once the session is lost basically expired or ends so like this and memory bank remembers all the things so here the error it will show that what did i say you will just see if the session is expired it will say sorry i did not remember can you please repeat it again similarly for memory bank if today says what's my favorite city okay so it will re basically respond if the data is already saved over here so how it works basically during the conversation a agent uses memory tools to search the past facts and after conversation agent intent extracts the key information okay and in the next session the agent or automatically recalls the older information so here you can see for example uh, i prefer celsius then the user whether in tokyo agent responds in celsius automatically now here you can see all these things are here and we have just uh, added uh, add memory tools to your agent code and just redeploy your agent so here you can see we have completed the complete module of day five and we have compared all day one to day five now we have to just clean up to just prevent the resource usage so just run it to clean up the resources and finally we are just completing the day 5 p module so this was really very hectic lab i think we have set up all the things and thank you guys have a great day